Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with a quick guide on how to create a shopping list or a shopping operation for a group that you have made. Uh, for this example, I have a transmog group and in it I have a bunch of items that I'd like to search on the auction house and find some deals. So to do this we need a shopping operation so that when we go to the auction house and we go to our shopping tab under TSM groups uh, it should appear here and we'll be able to start a search for those items so first thing you need to do is create the operation open trade skill master and go to module operations and then to shopping I'm gonna click on operations and new operation name so you could call it transmog for example if you, that's what you're doing or you could put in um, maybe a fixed gold amount if you plan on buying by fixed gold amount and then you can use the same operation for multiple groups uh, for this one I'll use a fixed gold amount and uh, basically it's, it's very simple the maximum auction price per item so the maximum amount that you want to show up in your search so I said 100 gold, I'm going to put 100 gold. Um, you could check off this and it would show any items that were in your list that were above that price. Uh, I like to just do uh, 100 gold or less in my list when I'm shopping for transmog. But I guess it depends what you're buying. And if you were, say, buying herbs or something like that, maybe you want to uh, put all of your herbs in one group. And uh, maybe you want to buy them for one gold or less. And since it's herbs, maybe you want to buy them in even stacks so you can mill them easily a 5, 10, 15, or 20. So you could do that and check that off. Put all of your herbs in one group and apply the operation that way as well. Other things that would work, uh, well, you can see in the list here, there's um, to the right when you have this clicked on, there's different things that you can put in. So I was using fixed gold amount, for example. If you were searching crafting items to buy, Maybe you could do like 40% uh, crafting, for example. Uh, these would have to be items that you craft in order for it to know what the actual crafting materials were. Um, another good one might be like if you're buying transmog gear, maybe 10% of, uh, of EB market. That would be another one that you could use. Um, for me, I like to just go fixed gold amounts. So you can play around with this, try out some different things, and see what works with works for you. So I like to go 100 gold for my transmog gear. That doesn't mean I have to buy every piece that shows up in the list. That just means that that's what the list is actually going to populate with. What I'm going to see in there. So after you've made your shopping operation, it's very simple to do. Go to groups. Go back to the group you want to apply it to, click on operations, go down to shopping, and it will show up here. So you apply that shopping operation to your group, then you can go back to the auction house, go to your shopping tab, and uh, under TSM groups, your transmog list will show here. And then if you had multiple ones, you could uh, check or uncheck whichever group uh, you can deselect all groups or select all groups as well and then you would start your search uh, I'm not gonna let this run because it would take a while I have a lot of items in that group but uh, after a while that would scan through and it would list them um, it by default it's gonna list them percent of max price so it, if it's the cheapest the cheapest will show up first and the most expensive down towards the bottom of the list but you can actually click these and sort them uh, different ways anyway guys I hope you found this guide helpful and uh, don't forget to subscribe I'll have some more guides coming soon